Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Tej, and today I'm be showing y'all how to make a beat for Young Thug and Gunna. It's gonna be similar to that ambient style that Wheezy used on Young Thug's recent project, Punk. I made the whole beat from scratch, so I'll be showing y'all everything from how I constructed the loop through adding the drums. As always, I'll have the full beat played at the end of the video. And with all that out of the way, let's just hop right into the beat. All right, so starting off with our first melody, I got this certified classic synth key sound from this Millennia Analog Lab Bank. I went in and I kind of put this interval melody using the E minor scale. I have a typical E minor interval right here, so it's just using the one and five, E and B, and I just bring it down a scale degree down to A, and then I change my root note to C, and then just use the five and C, which is G, and then after that, just move it back up to A. For the first two measures, I pretty much just copy them over for the next two, except from going from G to A, I go from G to F sharp. Copying that whole pattern over, I kind of change it up a little bit. I have the same first measure, and then the second one's a little different. The seventh measure is the same as the fifth, and then the eighth is just an added little variation just to lead back into the beginning of the loop. Throwing that into a mixer track, I put some RC20 onto it and I used the Vinyl 1 preset. I turned the noise off and I turned the wobble down a little bit, added a little space and left everything else the same. Then for my second sound, I got this Chase the Flute lead from Omnisphere. I just have the E note and it plays a trill like this. So I just rendered that out by itself and all I wanted to do is just make the first measure an E note and I didn't really like how the VST pitched it down and timed it differently. So I just made a new unique clip by going up to this top left part right here, clicking on it and going to make unique as sample. And then for the unique sample, I pitched it down 500 cents down to B. So my new flute trill sounds something like this. And for that sound, I think I just left it dry in the mixer. And then opening up my next melody sound, I got this airy and wet flutes preset, also from Omnisphere. And I put in this top flute melody. And for effects on that sound, I put on some RC20, the Vinyl 3 preset, turn off the noise and just turn the rate on the wobble all the way up. And so for my next melody, I got this pluck bass sound and I put in this bass pattern with the other two melodies. So I took all of those sounds and I rendered them out as audio clips. Once I had it in the arrangement, I then added this vocal loop on top of all the other stuff. And then in context with all the other parts of our loop, So once I got all that, I arranged the sample, stemmed it out, and I rendered that as an audio clip and put it into our second project file, which is where we added the drums. All right, so hopping into our new FOP, we got started on the drums here. So the first sound that I got was this combo clap that is going to be in my upcoming drum kit. Next, I got this open hat sound. I place it so it hits on the second B of the fourth and the eighth measures. Next, I added my second open hat, which is the south side triangle open hat, and put that on the two of the second and sixth measures.
Next, I added this hi-hat pattern. The sample that I used kind of sounds similar to a hit one hi-hat. In this pattern, I kept a lot of space and added some velocity changes to make some extra bounce in the hi-hats because I know Wheezy really likes to add those with his patterns. I didn't want to add too much element to it because one, I wanted to leave room for an artist. Two, I feel like the 808 is going to do a decent amount of legwork for the bounce of the track. And per usual for my hat patterns, I usually use the one third step snap setting for my rolls. And so the effects that you're hearing on the hi-hats are some effect tricks that I put on it. I put a really simple pattern. It's just a reverb and a reverse on the 16. Next, I added my snare pattern and I used the one half step snap setting and put in some rolls and just used the normal line setting just to place stuff in here and there. And I added this kind of like shorter, softer open hat just to give a little bit more of a vibe to the 808. After that, I added my 808 pattern and the progression I wanted to follow was one, six, and five. I just added some pretty basic rolls here and just adjusting some of the velocities to kind of build up some of the notes a little bit. Lastly, added this rack kick just to add some more power to that 808. All right, so that's pretty much all I got. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you're able to take something away from it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, be sure to hit subscribe. If you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. And that'll be all for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.